Welcome to Workday Learning Create Programs. In this session, we'll discuss how to create a program which combines courses and standalone lessons into a comprehensive curriculum that learners can easily find, enroll in, and complete. We will also discuss the impacts of dropping and enrolling in programs and how program completions display on the My Transcript Report. Similar to how you build courses with course lessons, you can build programs with existing standalone lessons and courses. By default, program enrollment is available on demand with the Start Program button. When you are building a program, you can select the Requires Enrollment checkbox to enforce any business process approvals before a worker can begin. You can also select the Skip Enrollment checkbox for any learning component within a program. This allows learners to bypass additional approval steps, streamlining their learning experience. However, learners will still adhere to any initial approvals associated with the program enrollment. When creating a program in Workday Learning, you'll encounter familiar fields similar to those used in courses, as well as program-specific fields, such as the Requires Successful Completion checkbox which allows you to designate whether the learning content is mandatory for successful program completion. This ensures learners only receive a completion on their My Transcript report after they complete the required program content. You can also factor in course expiration rules with the Recognize Course Expiration Dates checkbox. This prevents the program from being marked as complete until the learner fulfills the learning content's expiration rule requirements. Lastly, you have the flexibility to recognize a learner's previous learning content completions within the program. This feature allows you to specify whether the learning content completion includes all previous completions or completions occurring on or within a defined date range. These unique fields empower you to tailor programs precisely to your organization's requirements. Let's explore this idea by observing Deborah Simpson an HR manager at Global Modern Services, who is supporting the new sales onboarding initiative by creating a corresponding program. To begin, Deborah navigates to the Create Program task. On the Create Program page, Deborah completes all required fields and the necessary optional fields to meet her business objectives. This includes the Requires Enrollment checkbox, which enforces approvals associated with the Enroll in Content business process. To prevent current employees from accessing this program, Deborah selects the Exclude from Recommendations checkbox. This ensures Workday won't recommend this content to existing employees. She also selects the Exclude from Search and Browse checkbox, hiding the program from the learning catalog so it remains exclusive to new hires. Next, Deborah scrolls down to select the Add Content option. She can select any existing standalone lessons, digital courses, and blended courses in the learning catalog. First, she selects the Lesson option. In the Content field, Deborah selects the Sales and Good Impressions lesson. Since this is existing content, notice how the page dynamically updates with information from the lesson. Now. Deborah will add a digital course and blended course following the previous steps. For the digital course, Deborah wants to recognize all previous completions. For the blended course, Deborah opts to streamline the learner experience by selecting the Skip Enrollment checkbox. This bypasses the need for multiple approvals for each piece of learning content, ensuring a smoother and more efficient completion process. With the program details finalized, Deborah selects Submit. The learning and development team can now include this program in a mass enrollment or a learning campaign to distribute to new hires as part of their onboarding journey. Building on that idea, let's turn our attention to learner enrollment. When you require enrollment for a program, it initiates the Enroll in Content business process, and the program page will display an Enroll button. Learners cannot access any program content until the enrollment process and any associated approvals complete. Learners will be able to begin their learning journey when the program page displays a Start Program button. If you didn't select the Skip Enrollment checkbox when creating the program, 
learners will also need to enroll in any required learning content within the program. In that case, the Select Offering button will display, prompting the learner to enroll in a scheduled offering. This self-service feature displays for each blended course with an instructor-led component. Once learners select an offering, they can access the course and continue progressing through the program until completion. To further illustrate this point, let's examine the My Transcript report. This Workday Delivered report is a comprehensive learning record that displays essential data about each learner's history with a piece of learning content. Workday Learning categorizes each learning content by completion status, not started, in progress, or learning history, which lists all completed content. Once a learner enrolls in a program, the My Transcript report tracks the learner's interactions and statuses with the overall program and each individual piece of learning content within that program. This comprehensive tracking provides a detailed overview of the learner's journey through the program. To illustrate this concept, let's observe Julia Brandt's My Transcript report. Julia, a newly hired sales compensation analyst, recently enrolled in the Welcome to Sales program. Since she hasn't yet completed all the program content, it displays in the in-progress grid with an in-progress completion status. However, Julia completes the sales and good impressions lesson, which is reflected in the learning history grid. The sales knowledge course, which Julia hasn't started, displays in the not started grid. This detailed tracking allows learners, managers, and administrators to monitor progress and ensure all program requirements are complete. After viewing her transcript, Julia completes the sales protocol course. Now the course displays in the learning history grid, reflecting her successful completion. Once Julia completes all required learning content within the program, the program itself will have a completion status of completed and display in the learning history grid. This completion, reflected on the My Transcript report, indicates her successful completion of the entire Welcome to Sales program. While the My Transcript report is valuable for tracking completions, it's also useful for dropping learning content. For instance, when you drop a program, it's important to also drop any learning content enrollments within the program. By design, this gives the learner flexibility to continue with program-specific learning content, even if they decide not to complete the program itself. Notice after Julia drops the Welcome to Sales program, it disappears from the My Transcript report. However, all other program enrollments continue to display. Each piece of learning content, along with the program itself, tracks separately on the My Transcript report. Therefore, when a learner drops a program, they should drop all other enrolled learning content to maintain the integrity of their transcript. This ensures accurate learning records. It's important to note that once a learner completes a piece of learning content within a program, they can no longer drop that specific content. However, they retain the flexibility to drop the overall program. This distinction allows learners to curate their learning journey while maintaining a clear record of their achievements on their transcript. In this session, we've learned how to create a program and how you can structure a program to meet your business needs. We also explored the implications of dropping within a program and how program completions can affect the My Transcript report. Thank you for taking the time to learn with Workday. <music>